Ryan Howard, this D&D 6th edition paladin looks like she might only turn the undead who have information on white water. Yes, it's that time we're doing the Hillary Clinton is a paladin in the new edition of D&D meme review uh, because this is absolutely hilarity that there's no agenda. Apparently there's no agenda. Hey, if you like this type of content, let me know down below. Maybe I can do more things like this. You guys send me memes, I can react to them. But this one is reacting to how Twitter is reacting to the discovery that in the new books, Hillary Clinton is the paladin. The one that's going to save us all. The righteousness of Hillary Clinton exists. This is hilarity. A uh, new paladin doesn't actually kill anyone. They just commit self-deletion under questionable circumstances. I mean, really? <laughs> it comes across my feed, so I feel the need to comment on how bad it looks. I won't be purchasing this update or edition anytime soon. Yeah, well, I wonder why. This paladin reminds me of someone. I can't really place it. Oh, my God. Is this official art for real? Uh, I'll take bad AI over that any day. Now, that's AI art. You know, AI art, it, it, it's not perfect, not even close. But at least this looks better than whatever this is. I mean, we got a dragon on the chest. Last I checked, paladins don't really worship dragons. They're, they, they worship a deity. So I guess this is something out there. Oh my God. <laughs> she casts erase on her servants, servers. And the physical component is a bit of bleach and a rag or something. Oh God. Some of these are just bad. I was thinking uh, this was a good image of when the edibles hit. Oh, oh, it, the, the, her face is melting. Is that what that is? She casts Frazzling Touch. The power of many. <laughs> the power of many. The power of one. Oh my God. Star Wars will never die. The memes that have come out of the new accolade show is just brutal. I thought uh, it was a, f a fan drawing of the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> never going to be Maximus pontification of the order though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh crap, I didn't even know 6th edition was announced. What? You've been under a rock? <laughs> Wait, is that Hillary Clinton with black hair and a white streak? Oh boy, oh boy. Karen the Paladin. <laughs> I have the information that will lead to the arrest of 88 Smite Damage. <laughs> This, this is hilarity. This is absolutely funny. B Bing image generator, please create an image of Roseanne Barr wearing plate armor. Oh my God. What the F is this, Lamal? The total dismemberment of, from beauty and heroism here is just hilarious. Charisma was clearly her dump stat. Oh Boy, what what are the quote treat tweets saying on this? View quotes. So Wizards, Hasbro can't figure out why D&D is dying and no one's buying. But they make Hillary Clinton as a paladin. Oh, they're tagging Neon in this. <laughs> the, only, the only problem is, if you give her in your party, everyone get deleted but her. This D&D 6th edition paladin doesn't turn undead at all. She She needs their votes. Don't play this character. She always insists it's her turn. Uh, no, for the last time, there is no spell called Smirk of Glory. And Karen is not recognized character class. Oh my god. Oh, yellow flash in here. It does kind of look like Hillary Clinton. It, it really does. It really does. And it's so much so that that park place has actually put up an article on this situation. Wizards of the Coast accused of using Hillary Clinton as a model for the new Dungeons and Dragons Paladin. Oh boy. Uh, so the, Ryan Howard, they're covering that. Numerous individuals reacted to the post, sharing their thoughts that the character looked like Hillary Clinton. Uh, Ex-user Kenobi Sting wrote Hillary Clinton as a new Paladin for the edition of D&D. Very creative, Wizards of the Coast. 
no agenda to see here. Yeah, I mean, like, this is where it's at now. You've got all of the, all of them. The accusations come in the wake of numerous individuals lampooning Wizards of the Coast for its new woke art aesthetic that features cartoonists, diversity-inspired caricatures, and promotion of homosexual activity. Um, these are things that I didn't even really see in the original video that I did on this stuff. Um, you know, I, there's the two dwarves with their beards. It's very weird. But then there's also, it looks like the orcs have become Mexican. Uh, I mean... This is, that's what they're saying. It's, I, I, I more look at this and think Native American with the, the Falcons and stuff like that. Fantasy, it just screams injection of in identity politics and everything else in the future for Dungeons and Dragons. It's no longer inclusive like we've talked about. It's all about who they can pander to. Uh, RPG Pundit. If some random OSR publisher made a book with this illustration, the entire gaming left would would be going nuts calling them racist. Well, he's not wrong. Uh, they're not wrong at all. While I threw it in reverse image, the only one that comes up is the Ryan Howard uh, X post once again. But you get some very, very interesting images uh, overall for what you see in a female style paladin you know uh the wandering ranger here's a ranger that you see it kind of looks ai D is that ai i'm not sure or it's a very basic version i guess i'm guessing i know deviant art is using a lot of ai now so i wouldn't be surprised to hear that yeah so you know a lot more ai in here as well and ultimately a lot more better looking things than whatever the hell this is very interesting choice wizards of the coast we'll have to wait to see what comes next in their dungeons and dragons books and magic the gathering of course so until next time i'm your proud canadian phoenix cinder shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day and i'm away on vacation so you guys get to see this before well i'll probably be in the air while this video releases so Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Story. What? Did we leave on you? Did we go out? Are we not allowed to leave? Did all of us go out too without you? Janaya. <laughs>